effect of the pressure ratio on the Breton cycle. The efficiency of the Breton cycle is the function of pressure ratio as given by eta Breton is equal to 1 minus 1 by rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma that is rp will increase then eta breton will be increase in ts diagram If the Breton cycle operate between the same maximum temperature that is T max and minimum temperature that is T minimum at various pressure ratio as the pressure ratio will increase the shape all shape of the cycle also increase let's see suppose this 1 to 2 is compression 2 to 3 is heat addition 3 to 4 is expansion in gas turbine and 4 to 1 is heat rejection in condenser. If the pressure ratio will increase then shape of the cycle will increase just like that. This 2 becomes 2 double dash, 3 becomes 3 double dash, 4 becomes 4 double dash just like that at this low pressure ratio the mean temperature of heat addition tm1 will be h3 minus h2 divided by s3 minus S2, which is little greater than that of mean temperature of heat rejection, which has been executing between 0.4 and 1, that is H4 minus H1 divided by S4 minus S1. And the efficiency will be low at the lowest limit of the unity pressure ratio both efficiency and the work output will be zero that means pressure ratio is one the efficiency becomes zero as well as work output becomes zero what now as the pressure ratio is increase, efficiency will increase because mean temperature of heat addition will increase and mean temperature of heat rejection will decrease. The mean temperature of heat addition Tm1 approach to Tmax and mean temperature of heat rejection Tm2 will approach to T minimum and the cycle becomes as Carnot cycle and the efficiency will be maximum but at the same time work capacity becomes zero that means when the pressure ratio will going to increase and increase suppose here 2 dash and 3 dash and just like that dash then you can see the shape of the cycle will be just like a Carnot cycle 
which have the highest efficiency but the work capacity becomes zero so at rp max the cycle becomes carnot cycle and efficiency becomes the equal to of carnot cycle hence we can write at rp max at rp max efficiency of breton cycle is equal to efficiency of carnot cycle that is is equal to 1 minus 1 by rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma is equal to 1 minus 1 by sorry t minimum by t maximum from this relation we can get the value of sorry that becomes rp max rp max is equal to what will be t max divided by t min to the power gamma by gamma minus 1 which is a very important relation so from the efficiency and rp graph that can be easily understand the fact how can the efficiency of the Breton cycle reach to the Carnot cycle with increase of pressure ratio as well as along with the TH diagram. So if this is the efficiency and this is the RP then at 1 RP is equal to 1 the efficiency is 0 when the RP is maximum then the efficiency of the Breton cycle becomes efficiency of Carnot cycle. This is zero. Now, it has been observed that at RP1, the efficiency is zero and work output becomes zero at RP max Efficiency is Carnot cycle, but work output becomes, work capacity becomes zero. So, definitely there is an optimum value of pressure ratio at which work capacity becomes a maximum, which can be shown in the figure of W net and pressure ratio. Is it clear? W net and pressure ratio. So this is this is your TS diagram. This is your efficiency and RP diagram, and this is your W net versus RP diagram. Is that clear? Now at RP is equal to one. That means here rp is equal to 1 the w net is 0 when the rp is equal to maximum the w net also 0 so there will be some optimum value where the w net becomes maximum and this is the value where this is called the rp optimum now for maximum work output we have to find out the optimum pressure ratio as we know that for 1 kg of mass 
डब्लू नेट डब्लू नेट इज इक्वल टू व्हाट डब्लू नेट इज इक्वल टू एम सी पी टी थ्री माइनस टी फोर माइनस एम सी पी व्हाट टी टू माइनस टी वन दैट मींस टर्बाइन वर्क माइनस कंप्रेशन वर्क सो एम इज वन सो सी पी इनटू टी थ्री माइनस टी फोर माइनस फर्स्ट ब्रैकेट स्टार्ट टी टू माइनस टी वन एस वी नो दैट थ्री टू फोर प्रोसेस इज ए डायबिटिक प्रोसेस रिवर्सिबल सो फ्रॉम दिस रिलेशन वी कैन गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ टी फोर इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी थ्री दैट मींस टी थ्री टी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय टी फोर इज इक्वल टू पी थ्री बाय पी फोर Which is nothing but the pressure ratio to the power gamma minus one by gamma. So T four is equal to T three into R P to the power minus gamma minus one divided by gamma. Because P three by P four is equal to pressure ratio. This is a pre constant pressure. This is constant pressure. So P three is equal to P two. P four is equal to P one. So P three by P two is equal to pressure ratio R P. So this is a relation. Now similarly we can get the T two in terms of T one. So T two we can get. Is equal to T1 into Rp to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. If you put this T4 and T2 value in this W net, then we can get what W net is equal to Cp third bracket start T3 minus T4 is equal to T3 into R P to the power minus gamma minus one divided by gamma minus T two is equal to T one into R P to the power gamma minus one divided by gamma plus T one third bracket close. For having the W net max for R P optimum. D W net divided by D R P is equal to zero, and by this derivation is equal to zero, we can get the value of R P, which is R P optimum, which is R P optimum. So R P optimum from that deduction we can get R P optimum is equal to What t three by t one to the power gamma by two into gamma minus one, which is nothing but R P optimum is equal to t three is equal to t max divided by t min. To the power gamma by two into gamma minus one. So this is an important information also, or relation also. Now having the W net max, if you put the value of R P optimum in this equation, we can get the W net max. Is equal to what? Cp into T max minus root of T minimum a whole square. And also, if you put the value of R P optimum in the equation. of breton cycle then we can get 
द एफिसियंसि अब द सकेल एट आरपी अब्टिमाम वेन द डब्ल्यू नेट बिकम्स मैक्सिमाम हुईस इज इक्ल टू इटा ब्रेटन इज इक्ल टू सकेल इज इक्ल टू वन माइनस रूट अफ टी मिनिमाम डिवाइडेड बै टी मैक्सिमाम हुईस इज अल्सो एन इम्पर्टेंट रिलेशन so this is this are the relation so thank you i hope it will help you to understand the effect of pressure ratio on the breton cycle